Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So the Father wants me to tell you about Tempest and Storm and what he's doing with these four scriptures and then to give you deliverance and protection scriptures in the time of storms to read Psalms 91. But for you to understand that although judgment is taking place, restoration and reconciliation is also taking place of those who are in covenant with God. So um, let me just get into it and I'll explain as I read. Now, God wants you to know you're gonna be visited by him with these things. These things you're gonna be visited with him by. And these scriptures you can use for protection when he throws these things, what he's doing right now. Okay, so this is, shouldn't be a long video. All right, Tempest and Storm. Isaiah 29 and 6, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So that's how God tells you he's coming to visit you. With thunder, earthquakes, great noise, storm, tempest, and a flame of devouring fire. Now, Isaiah 30 and 30 it wants me to read as well. So Isaiah 29 and 6 and Isaiah 30 and 30. And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. And shall show the lightning down of his arm, um, thunder, right? With the indignation of his anger, and with the flame of devouring fire, and the flame of devouring fire, right? With scattering, so Harry tells you with scattering and tempest, tells us about the tempest here with storm and with tempest, but this one tells us with scattering and tempest and hailstones. So this is how we're going to be visited by God for us sinning against him with Isaiah 29 and 6 and Isaiah 30 and 30, and he wants you to know that. Then he wants me to read Romans 9 and 28 and Acts 13 and 41, and then deliverance and protection prayers. Scriptures that you need in the time of his storms, in the time of his tempest, in the time of his flaming devouring fire. All right? Because he'll have mercy on who he'll have mercy on. Now, Romans 9 and 28. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. Because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. So, you know, the restoration, the reconciliation, and judgment, this stuff is going to be quick. Quicker than you ever imagined. Acts 13 and 41. Behold, you, you, ye despisers and wonder and perish, for I work a work in your days, a work which you shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. So God's saying, this work he's doing, even some people are in no wise going to believe it, even if somebody tells them. Now, here are the live deliverance and protection in the times of storm, in the times of tempest, in the times of hailstones, and in the times of destruct, you know, God's indignation of his anger. He wants you to have these prayers so you can be protected. Read Psalms 91. Um, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. Read Psalms 91, the whole thing. And these are scriptures to save you from storm and tempest. So this is why he wants you to know these precepts, because you are going to be visited by him with thunder, with earthquake, with great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. All right, so... His word will protect you. Psalms 55 and 8. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. So he wants you to know this scripture. Psalms 55 and 8. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Isaiah 25 and 4. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in the, his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, the tempest, the devouring fire, so a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is, a, is as a storm against the wall. God wants you to know these scriptures, for in your time of deliverance and protection, and in your time in protection from the times of storms and tempests, because that is how you're going to be visited by him. Some people will be delivered, some won't, because of their sins. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 16. Therefore, shall they, shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand? For with his right hand 
shall he cover them. You can ask God with your right hand, cover me. And with his arm, he sh with his arm shall he protect them. You can use this, he said, for with his right hand shall he cover them. And with his arm shall he protect them. Psalm 17 and 8. Keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Psalm 61 and 4. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the cover of thy wings. Selah. Psalm 61 and 4. So these are all good scriptures in the time of tempest, the time of storm, because this is how you're and hail stones and devour and fire, because this is how you're going to be visited by the Most High God. Psalms 91 and 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Psalms 34 and 6 to 34 and 9. So read Psalms 34 and read Psalms 91 in the time of hail, storm, and destruction and tempest. Okay, people of God. Now I'm going to read Psalms 34 and 6 to 9. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angels of the Lord encamp it around them that fear him and deliver it them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless is the man that trusts in him. O oh, oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Now to cover your house in the time of storm. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman walk, walk, watches, but in vain. So ask God, Father, keep this house, because except you keep this house, the watchman watch in vain. And cover your house in Psalms 91. And one, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So God wants you to know precepts and prayers of deliverance and protection in the time of storms, the time of tempest, and the time of trouble. Stay blessed, beautiful people, and I hope this helped you.